Hey, I'm Randy with Tektronics. I'm going to show you guys how to install LEDs in your 03 to 07 Classic Chevy Clusters, GMCs, um, Yukons, Tahoe, Suburbans, Cadillac Escalades. They're all the same thing, basically. They just look a little different. All right, so we're going to start with my little handy-dandy pry tool. We're going to um, apply a little pressure between the lens and the back housing, and then just lift up on the tabs on both the back housing as well as the lens. All right, and all right. Now for the lens, uh, it's got two tabs right there and right there. So we're gonna have to go in above the circuit board and underneath that white housing, get underneath the black tab, lift, go and then push up separate the lens from the white housing all right now you need to put it back together minus the lens so that the circuit board is actually centered and you want to press all your needles to the bottom uh, this is actually a core so these lens needles are off anyway um, you can use tape uh, or post-its but you need to put a post-it by each needle, uh, push them down all the way without like readjusting them. Take a pen or pencil and just look down the needle and mark its position. You're gonna do that for all six or if you have a transmission temperature gauge, seven needles. Now take your tool, pry tool again. We're gonna pull up all the needles. Um, sometimes the needles can be kind of stuck, uh, so just be gentle, take your time, uh, or you might end up breaking the stepper motor. All right, so we're going to take the back housing off again, and now we're going to set the gauge face aside, make sure not to let these post-its or tape fall off. All right, I already removed the needles off of this one. i turn on my fume extractor. But anyway, let's, basically let's treat these like normal bulbs. Um, you need to heat up the solder and pull up. Heat up the solder, pull up. Heat the solder, pull up. Heat up the solder, pull up. All right, so now to reinstall LEDs, we're gonna go around to each of the tabs. Each, um, where each bulb was, there's four circles, but you can tell there's two of the four have a little bit more solder on them. That's where the bulbs were attached previously. So you're gonna add just a little bit of solder to each of those joints. Uh, go ahead and do them all at the same time. Um, like again, like I said, only add it to the ones that already have a little solder from where the bulbs were. Now LEDs, um, their polarity matters. If you buy your LEDs from Tactronics, we will send a picture showing you which side needs to be positive, which side is negative. All right, so hold your needle or your bulb in place. Heat up the solder and press down a little bit so when you melt the solder, the the solder kind of covers the lead, if that makes sense. Um, let's do it again. So holding it in place, press down just a little bit, melt the solder, press down, melt the solder. All right. You're going to do that to either these eight and if you have a trans temp or even something without a trans temp, have a ninth bulb right there. These need to stay the same. Those are not backlighting bulbs. So there's just these bottom eight or nine need LEDs. Uh, I recommend before you put the face back on to plug it into your truck, just make sure you got all of the, neat, the LEDs installed correctly. I've got a 
uh, power source, so I don't have to do it in the truck. But anyway, just plug it into your truck, turn your key on, make sure the LEDs light up. And as you can see, the two that we installed, they do work. And so we're ready to put it back together. I recommend while you've got it open, just grab a rag and wipe off these two uh, displays. All right, snap the face back on. Um, you might want to clean your lens while you're in here. Either it's kind of easier to do it now, um, but be very careful not to, depending on what you use, post-its or tape, make sure not to pull those up. Otherwise you won't know where to put your needles back to. Um, I just have one set, of course. So I'll go ahead and place it on. Um, always turn counterclockwise when you're adjusting it. So you're going to look down the needle, line it up with your little mark. Now you can remove the post-it. I'm just gonna throw these on quickly without really adjusting them. Here we go. Now the lens, um, just all basically just gonna be very careful to get the dometer button through the hole. Line up the tabs, press, kind of squeeze around the edges, and that is all it takes. Uh, we will put a link in the video, or you can click the link below and purchase the bulbs from us. These are fully dimmable bulbs uh, with built-in resistors, um, high-quality bulbs, best LEDs that I've worked with thus far. Uh, have any questions, feel free to comment and send us your questions. Thanks.